Welcome back, everybody. I'm glad to see you tuning into the Caliber Corner again. This time we're talking about a great little rimfire cartridge called the 17 Mach 2. It's also sometimes referred to as the 17 HM2. I prefer the 17 Mach 2, so there's no confusion with the 17 HMR. The Mach 2 was a joint venture between Hornady and CCI and is based on the 22 Stinger case. The 22 Stinger case is a hundred thousandths of an inch longer than the 22 LR. Now as you can see the cartridges are the same length but it's only the case that's longer on the Stinger cartridge. The Mach 2 has a bullet diameter of 172 and weighs 17 grains. This cartridge seemed to disappear for a while but I'm seeing it back on the shelves again at this time. As I mentioned before the cartridge is sometimes confused with the 17 HMR. Here they are together so you can see that they're not the same. The Mach 2 is much smaller. Here's a target at 50 yards. I don't have one at 100 yards. Maybe you can see it better if I hold it up. Here is the rifle chambered for the Mach 2. It's a Savage Mark II with a heavy varmint barrel. It's a super accurate little cartridge, especially in this rifle. The rifle came with a black polymer stock. But I had my wife make me a stock from, a, from scratch with a piece of walnut I had on hand. She checkered the stock at 22 lines per inch, carved a schnabel forend tip, and installed a grip cap that she made from a scrap of exotic wood. I'll turn the rifle around so you can see the other side. Getting off the topic a little bit, my wife made a violin from scratch for our daughter and she started a second one. Each with an Engelman spruce top and Tiger maple back, sides and neck. It has inlaid purpling. She also made many of the tools for it as well. If you are interested in seeing it, I would be happy to include that in a future video. Just let me know in the comments below. The scope on this rifle is a Lime and All American 20, uh, 20 fixed power that I found in a little out of the way gun shop. The objective had a rainbow effect from a delamination in the lens, so I sent it away for repair. And now it's a great scope for this little rifle. Sometimes it's nice to end a day of shooting the big stuff with a quiet little caliber that has no recoil. Thanks for watching as always, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. See you next time.